Dr. Max Collins, and I'm going to give you my morning exercise core routine. And this has come about as a result of watching religious pilgrimages from around the world. It resembles yoga, Pilates, and other things. Take what you can from it, but if you do it daily, it will actually allow you to balance front to back, side to side, and core, which then allows you to have the strength to do other things without injury. So the first thing you do is you start with a simple squat. So you're going to position your feet to where your straightaway toes, arms out in front of you. You're going to create a nice squat, arms out, arms out, go down. And there are times to where you may have to hang onto a doorknob, hang onto a bed frame, hang onto a chair, because you won't be able to just go down to your heels. You'll have to stretch it first. But my ultimate goal is to get to where I can relax and get my head between my knees and not fall backwards. But there are days to where I have to hang on. I have to tip forward and take time. But it's really important that you take time with this one to where you get to where it becomes comfortable with just squatting like this. Okay? Next position is uh, you're going to be on your toes, sit back, so it'll look like this here, and you're going to go sitting back like this in good strong posture you're going to slide down keeping your backside on your feet key your heels and you're going to drop down to where you're placing your head on the floor it's a good place to stretch your shoulders get your head to each side drop your head back down to the floor good place also to do good cervical decompression just let your head pivot on the floor just rotate 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 back and forth do that until it's comfortable then you're going to move to your stomach and this one here laying here on your stomach you're going to bring your head up look to the arm that you're lifting and then the opposite leg you're breathing in so if you bring your jaw forward sucking on your tongue keep your teeth together you're breathing through your nose breathe in and out breathe in and out Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Okay? When you do that, that begins to relax your core in the front by contracting the muscles in the back. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the plank. Okay? You can do a push up. Okay? Hold the plank. If you don't have the strength at that point right now, you can do it this way where you're on your knees. From that position, you can come up and stretch here. Okay, then you can go down and stretch here. Really opening that area up. You're trying to bring your stomach into the floor and go in between those two positions. Okay, here. You know, I'll do push-ups. I'll do something that's going to work and hold that posture in both of those positions. Okay. okay. We're going to go into a side lane position to where I start on my left side first. That lower leg goes straight. The right arm comes up. And you're going to look into that arm. Again, breathing in. And letting that come across. Breathing in, straightening that lower leg, straightening that upper arm. Good. And do 10, 20 of those. Okay. After you've done those, then you're going to do a sit up. Basically, you start with your feet flat, roll your hips up, breathing out. Then you're going to bring your head up. And once you've brought your hips up and your head up, you create the rocker. And so then sitting up is easy. Okay? If you're unable to sit up, and at first you probably won't be, work on just getting crunches, 20 of them. By the time you get to 20, you'll be able to do that. So breath out, rolling your hips, your head, and shoulders. Okay? Hips, head, and shoulders. Okay? The next one is an oblique, legs to the side arm up, elbow
elbow doesn't leave the floor. The hand is here and you're lifting your chest to your hand. Never letting this elbow come off the floor. Blowing out. Okay. Opposite side. Okay. And don't be bent this way. You want to extend your back. Create an arch back here as you're trying to come up. And then the last one is a scorpion. When you're here, you're going to bring your leg up and over, looking to the opposite side and touching your hand. You're going to bring it up and over and touch your hand. Okay? And that is the morning routine. You can do it in the evening too. It works great at the end of the day. Thank you.